So it's currently minus 31, feels like minus 43. This here is our 2020 GLC 300 4Matic SUV. I've got the Mercedes app right here. And we're gonna try to see if we can start the engine. You can see the last time was 10 hours ago. So it's been overnight now. We'll just hit start, type in the pin, hit send. And the request has been failed. Let me disable my Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm on LTE. Let's just try that again. Gonna hit send. Okay, so it looks like it went. Okay, it started right up. Here's the app. So it will stop at 9.06 a.m. Current interior temperature is minus 31. They have changed the app, so you can see it no longer shows uh, what your car looks like. Especially for us, it's really challenging because we have two 2020 GLC 300s and sometimes we confuse which one is which one. So we have to look at the mileage, uh, which kind of gets annoying. Um, but yeah, they took away, so you can't really see uh, what your car looks like. It's always covered. I have to active this one. And then this is the other one right here. So probably I can change the name. I'll try that later, but it's, it's not nice how we can see which car is which anymore. The range is 423 kilometers. And there we have it. It is running. We'll come back around 9 a.m. and then see how it's doing. You can see it's minus nine inside and it's 9.06 a.m. That's when the engine will turn off. So it's 9.05 right now. The defroster is in the rear. The glass in the back is still not melted. I'm not sure if uh, it turns those on. I'm assuming it does because you can see here in the front, I don't know if it was like that earlier. 9.06, it's still running. And there we have it. It just turned off and here's the app. So let's try doing it one more time here. Hit send. And we'll hit dismiss. And this should start it again, second time. So it's been 10 minutes, obviously. Uh, it did not work. So let's try that again. And I don't have to be near the car for this to work. Um, I can start this like, from anywhere pretty much i'm just near it so we can film it but your request to start the engine is unable to initiate because you have reached the limit of remote attempts uh so yeah i guess we cannot start it second time let's try one more time it's really cold outside my hands are freezing uh, let's try that again here see if it will start and the answer is probably no yeah so it doesn't so now i do have to come back and uh get inside the car which I have double locked it, so the kill entry is off. So we'll unlock it, there we go. And the seats are still cold, obviously. Okay, so push the button to start the engine here. Turn on the heated steering wheel, as well as the heated steering wheel. Look at some engine data, right there. But yeah, the defrosters there in the back. I don't know if they turn on with the car start. But it's not nice that you cannot start it with the app twice because it's still really cold inside the car. Now I'd like to turn it off and then we'll get out and start it again. Okay, so here's the app again. Uh, vehicle is unlocked. We will just lock it. There we go. Locked, lets it start and then hit send. We'll also walk here at the back. And there we go, it is running. And now it will turn off at 9.20 a.m. Inside is minus eight and a half degrees. All right, so the car should be turning off in like a minute. And I was able to figure out how to change the name 
it was somewhere under vehicle registration. I went there and it allowed me to name it. So now I kind of named it Obsidian for this black GLC and then Polar for the white GLC. So you can see over here, it's current interior temperature, zero degrees, and then engine will stop at 920. So it should be stopping right about any time right now. And it stopped. It's just the vehicle went by, so it was hard to hear it. You can see now, right there, it says Obsidian. So if I wanna control the other GLC, now it says Polar right there. Another issue with the app is Face ID. Like with the older Mercedes Me app, I could type in my passcode here. So I'll do it right now. And then it would activate Face ID. But with this one, every time I type in my PIN, it turns off automatically once it tries to enable. So it doesn't start with the face ID. So every time I have to type in my pin. So definitely not happy with this new app. So hopefully all that will be getting taken care of. So it is definitely extremely cold right now. And uh, the GLC started right up. Thankfully, it did have quite a bit of fuel in it. So uh, keep that in mind. Always try to have a lot of fuel in your car. Um, don't let it run too empty or have a low fuel in your car. Like try to have um, above half a tank of fuel um, when it's extremely cold. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.